Well, the ultimate excuse, of course, has to be at the end because it's the ultimate excuse for all evils and wrongs that happen in the world. And it's the ultimate excuse that both left and right really share. The ultimate excuse is that Gay lost a job because of the Jews. I mean, it always boils down to the Jews are behind it all. The Jews are perverting, distorting, destroying our world and creating injustice. This is how Cornell West puts it, right? Quote, you know, they never say it out. They never say it. This is just, it's, it's always kind of implied. We'll see other examples in a minute. Cornell West says, the same figures and forces enabling the ethnic cleansing and genocidal attacks on Palestinians in Gaza, Ackerman, Blum, Summers, and others push out the first black woman president of Harvard. Ackerman, Bloom, Summers, all Jews, unsurprising. It's the Jews, guys. They're the problem that we face in this world. Always have been and seemingly always will be. And it's not just Cornel West. Tucker Carlson chose to go on a long rant earlier this week against whom? Some leftist crazy? Oh, no, 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 no. Against Ben Shapiro, who happens to be, of course, an Orthodox Jew. Here's part of the rant. Quote, the people on the right who have spent the last two months every single day focused on a conflict in a foreign country as our own country becomes dangerously unstable. He then lists various American issues. Again, this is from TGIF. He lists various American issues like drugs that he says Ben and these types have never cared about. Never cared about. I'm ben Shapiro, really. And then he says, quote, they don't care about the country at all. And that's kind of their prerogative. But I do, because I have no choice. Because I'm from here. My family's been here hundreds of years. God, this is so sickening. I plan to stay here. I'm shocked by how little they care about the country, including the person you mentioned, Ben Shapiro. And I can't imagine how someone like that could get an audience of people who claim to care about America, because he doesn't, obviously. Unquote. Now, that is pure anti-Semitic trope. Ben Shapiro is Jewish. Ben Shapiro is pro-Israel and has talked a lot about Hamas. Ben Shapiro is also a conservative. We've talked about America over and over and over again on his show forever. But he's a Jew. He wears a yarmulke. He cares about Israel. And therefore, the trope goes, and this is something that uh, 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 Trump has also mentioned, they care more about Israel than they do about America. Indeed, it's not just that they care more. They don't care about America, Tucker Carlson tells us. And this is Tucker. Remember Tucker, the, uh, the, the snob with the dollar store? This is Tucker, the, the, the racist snob. My family's been here hundreds of years. I don't have anywhere to go. Disgusting. You see, but Scott will defend any, anybody on the right. It doesn't matter how anti-Semitic, how vile, how disgusting, how horrible he is. Scott will find a, 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 a bright spot. God. I mean, this is really disgusting. And this is, uh, you know, Tucker, of course, is descending into, um, into uh, I don't know, conspiracy theory uh, hell and into into anti-Semitic, uh, and and I think ultimately he'll become kind of a white supremacist type, but it, you know it's just it really is horrific. What I just read you is truly horrific, and and we're talking about Ben Shapiro, and I disagree with Ben Shapiro on a lot of things, but to claim Ben Shapiro doesn't care about America, really.
but it's not just Tucker Carlson. One of the most admired investors in Silicon Valley, uh, I've admired him, one of the most admired venture capitalists of the last 20 plus years, uh, a founder of, um, of um, uh, what do you call it? Combinator, uh, Combinator, Y Combinator. I can't pronounce anything today. Anyway, Paul Graham, who I've admired, and here's what he writes in, on Twitter. Just, again, I find this just hard to, hard to just ugh, imagine. He says, he shows the UN vote, a uh, uh, UN vote against Israel, where pretty much every country in the world votes against Israel except the United States and maybe a few others. And the United States votes for Israel. And, and uh, a few other countries vote for Israel, but almost everybody votes against Israel. So this is, uh, it, it, this is in relation to a United Nations vote. United Nations. Quote, This UN vote shows how completely isolated we are from world opinion. Is it because only America is smart enough to understand the Israeli point of view? Or because America's most powerful lobby has dragged us onto the wrong side of history? The answer to that is obvious. That's pretty unbelievable. You know, the United States is pro-Israel because of the Jewish lobby. Again, another trope that keeps coming up, keeps being, being brought up. Um, he's, uh, Paul Graham, for whatever reason, has been disgusting since October 7th. His anti-Israel has just been horrific. And of course, when you think about the United Nations, the answer should be, the answer should be, we're just smart, better, more moral than most countries over there. Most of those countries are horrific countries. Horrible. Um, just despicable. But it doesn't end there. Another tweet came from Dr. Rupa Maria. Professor of Medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. University of California. San Francisco, a doctor, professor of medicine. Quote, the presence of Zionism in U.S. medicine should be examined as a structural impediment to health equity. Zionism is super racist, racist ideology. And we see Zionist doctors justifying the genocide of Palestinians. How does their outlook position impact Priorities in U.S. medicine. I mean, sadly, the reality today is that anti-Semitism is rampant in America and among many of America's elites, both left and right. And it is pretty horrific, from Al Sharpton to Tucker Carlson, to Paul Graham, to, I don't know, professor of medicine at UC San Francisco. It's truly disgusting, despicable. I knew this existed in America. I thought it was relegated to ignorant, you know, white trash and, you know, crazy white supremacists and crazy leftist communist. To see this mainstreamed, to see this among mainstream professors, whether it's Cornell West or whether it's somebody at the university, uh, you know, a, a professor of medicine or, or big, unbelievably popular and successful media personalities like Tucker Carlson. I don't know, words escape me in, in, in how horrific this really is. And, and and how bad it really is in America. In America. Of all the places you expect it in Europe. 